be here today to talk about the business because I love this business and I love sharing the business. This has been and continues to be the most incredible opportunity of my life. And right now is absolutely a vision board moment for me. So cool. <laughs> when it comes to building my team, the first thing that's important to me is the community and building a positive culture because that's what this is all about, right? We join this business because we want to feel better, to be healthier and happier. We want the opportunity to earn some supplemental income and we want to be a part of this culture. You all and the energy alone in this room just speaks to what Plexus is all about. So my top tip in attracting business builders is to bring the energy. Bring the positive energy. Lead with that and put out the energy that you want to attract. I want people on my team that lead with their heart, who are energized and excited about helping others and showing them that these products can change their life, their finances, and their family. So on my social media, I put it out there that this is the best job in the world because it sure is. Can I get an amen? amen. This is for everyone. This is not an exclusive group. I coach everyone on our team to stay in that mindset, to get rid of any drama, to focus only on the positive things. I encourage my team to focus on self-love first. I've had great success by coming across as my authentic self and staying positive and inclusive to everyone. I lead by example. I work hard and I want my team to work hard. Work hard, play hard is my motto and we sure have a lot of fun. This isn't a business you can work one hour a week from the pool and call it good. That's not how you're going to rank. That's not how you're going to sweep contests and earn incredible trips like this. If you want to join us, great. But if you don't and you're not ready for it, that's also great. I don't have a scarcity mindset. I'm not desperate or afraid when someone says no. They can always feel that you're coming from a place of desperation. When you give off the vibe of confidence, they're intrigued. My incredible sponsor, Katie Tucker, taught me early on in this business that we don't chase, we attract. Mm -hmm. Here's an example. I lead with the benefits of the business. My life is so full because of this business. I'm able to spend time with my family. I'm able to travel to amazing places. I'm part of this amazing community and I have more flexibility with my time. I lead with all the benefits so that someone can see how great this has been for me and how great it can be for them too. It's their choice if they want to join me or not. I show all the aspects of my life. There's not one thing that you can say to someone to get to want them to start the business. You need to show them how much you love working this business. Show them that you're having fun doing this business, that you're experiencing such great things because of this business. And that's all authentic. I don't want anyone on our team that doesn't feel that way, that doesn't enjoy doing this business. Because if they don't, it won't be authentic. Of course, I'm not going to brag about these things. I'm showing it out of gratitude. I'm showing how hard I've worked and what I get for that hard work. Now, when I start to reach out to people about the business, I start by trying to understand where they're coming from. So for example, if I learn that they're struggling financially, they can't afford the products, then I make it simple. I say something like this. I emphasize that I know the cost of everything is crazy right now, and I let them know that I can help them get their products covered. And it's as easy as getting three important people in their life to try the products. I stay low pressure and let them know that this opportunity is available to them if they want it. And if it's someone that needs the community, that's a different approach. I didn't expect this to be such a huge aspect to this, but it is. My team is filled with the most incredible people. And if I see someone who is looking for that in their life, I lead with sharing how grateful I am for the people on our team. <clears throat> when you build a community, and make it a team effort, work together as a group, you're going to keep people. They're going to trust you. They're going to feel comfortable with you. And they're going to love the community that you build together. I tell them how supportive and uplifting all the women on our team are. And that love and support is like nothing I have ever experienced before. Yeah. <laughs> 
I have a Facebook group for my team, Team Never Give Up, and I call them my Plexus Powerhouses. We do weekly consistency challenges. I post the question of the day so we can get to know each other more. We celebrate and support each other. We post when we get an enrollment or where someone ranks up and so much more. Be a hype woman. We had a woman on my team that did a what is Plexus poll and no one showed up. She was so upset. We all just rallied around her and we were like, hey, that happens. It's part of the business. I coached her on the fact that it doesn't matter that no one else showed up. What matters is that she showed up. She still planted a seed in people's minds, even if they didn't show up. Maybe they'll show up next time she does that call. I'm big on casting vision and planting seeds. You need to continually plant the seeds. The day you plant the seeds, is not the same day you eat the fruit. It mm. takes time. Don't give up just because you face rejection. It doesn't need to deter you from continuing to push forward and reaching out to people about these products or the business. It really has nothing to do with you. Sometimes it's just not the right moment in their life to take this on. Don't take anything personally. I like to say we're doing them a favor by following up. I know for me, when I'm looking at buying something, it takes me a few times. I have to remind myself to buy it. The same thing goes for Plexus. You're reminding them of this opportunity, and when the time is right, they'll join you. I will tell you, it's so hard attracting business builders. I'm not gonna stand up here and pretend it's easy because it's not. I've heard others say duplication is so easy. For me, it is not. I had a rare start to this business. I had a social media platform coming in, and I know not everyone has that. I believe you can be successful without one, but it definitely makes it easier when you do. I was able to earn Emerald in four months. <laughs> but it's not been all sunshine and roses. I lost rank, and I had a hard time with retention because I was growing rapidly, and I couldn't keep up. Retention is key, and that's what my focus has been for myself, for my team, especially when it comes to business builders. Not everyone is gonna have a following, so you need to make sure you take care of your people and help them build their own following and their team in their own way. I encourage my team to be really in touch with their level ones. Let them know how invested you are in their success. That's the point of my weekly consistency challenges in my team Facebook group. Just by participating, you have the opportunity to win a prize each week. We try to make it fun and keep them engaged. When we keep them engaged and help them with their consistency and success, they're more likely to keep ordering and stay on the products. Everything I do, I make it available to my team. Everything they need, I have. Everything they're going to do, I've already done. They can put their own spin on it and make it their own, but they have access to everything they would need to be successful in this business. That's how I've been able to duplicate. I don't keep any secrets. I share this incredible opportunity with everyone on our team. Here's what I've done, here's what I've learned along the way, and here's what you can do. The opportunity with this business is endless and I share that with everyone on my team and encourage them to share that with others. As you grow into leadership roles and you're training your team on attracting business builders, you want to stay positive. Encourage having a positive mindset because then you will attract people with that same energy. That's the foundation of it all. Have positive energy and want to work hard. Showcase that it's going to work Take work, but it's fun work. It's work you're going to enjoy, and it's work that sure as heck will pay off. Mm -hmm. Showcase the community, celebrate the successes, and why there is value in being a part of this amazing culture. <laughs> knowledge is power. So empower your team with the right knowledge so they can be successful. Give them the tools to attract the right business builders. 
give them the tools to share on social media and reach out to people. Learn the comp plan and show them how to build a successful business. Work as a team and as a community and not you will not only build a strong team, but you'll keep them. The two most important things in this business is being consistent and never giving up. If you do that, you absolutely will be successful. <coughs> when you get to Diamond, it won't matter how long it took you. All that matters is that you got there. <laughs> I believe in you. Now you just need to believe in you. Thank you. Yeah.